TV. This is Kitty Banks, and you're now watching MREC TV. I want to address something more current that a lot of people call me. It's like, yo, because they know I rock with you. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up with your man Trash? Suing Ice Cube and Master P. Could you elaborate I, on that? Ah, yeah. I'm going to say mm -hmm. this first and foremost. <laughs> For the record, I did not sue Ice Cube. Okay. I want everybody to know I did not sue Ice Cube, right? Um, I'm gonna take you through the whole process. This is how it went down. You know, I'm not. I got people who's you know out there. They they they, they online all the time, and they're like, "Yo, son, yo, this dude Ice Cube." Um, no, first it was Master P. This dude Master P came out with an album called Intelligent Hoodlum. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "Well, let's look it up." Blah, blah, blah. Like, so he dropped it? Yeah, he did. Oh, wow. But I, I mean, you know, I, and I saw it. Mm -hmm. And um, I, at first, I, at first, my initial response to it was like, oh, her, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going that's, on here? That's like, how we doing it? <laughs> yeah, like, hold on, hold on. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking it in. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, like, I, I, mem I remember saying certain things. And you could go online. Like, people, and it's funny because when I talk, I'll have things I do and you know whatever on my social forums, and then I look at the comments and people will say like some of the some of my slang back to me, mm. and I don't say it thinking consciously, just for a branding purpose. Mm -hmm. That's just how the how I talk. Yeah, I'm a, you know what I'm, I'm a yeah. slang yeah. scientist, so yeah. I just uh -huh. so like aura things of that nature. Factual. Yeah, mm -hmm. factual artifacts. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So. Somebody hit me and was like, "Yo, give me, give, give me your, give me, give you your roses while you can smell them." Mm -hmm. And I always said that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then I see Master P doing the BET thing, and he kind of said that in reference to Mob Deep with BET, when BET, you know, invited Mob Deep or Havoc, I should say, rest in peace mm -hmm. after Prodigy's passing, mm -hmm. to BET, and made a statement basically kind of along the line saying, prior to Prodigy's passing, they would have never invited Mob Deep. Mm -hmm. They should have gave him his roses while he could smell them. And I was like, wow, like I'm kind of like the only dude that says that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> And then later, I seen that he came out with the album, and I was like, yo, you know what? We, you know what I'm saying? I respect, I respect the bro. You know what I'm saying? He's done a lot culturally. He's done a lot, you know, culturally slash business-wise oh, for yeah. hip-hop and hip-hop entrepreneurship. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. helping brothers see, you know, or, or guide brothers to the right lane and becoming independent and controlling their own destiny. Absolutely. Let me come at him a certain way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and I thought about it, so I hit him on the gram. First thing I hit him on the gram. I said, look, brother, I got a lot of respect for you, but um, I think we need to address some things. You came out with the same title of my album. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully boomerang me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. <laughs> just, just like yeah. that. You me so, you know, he had the blue light on the joint, so I know it's officially him mm -hmm. on the gram. Yeah, the and I ain't hear nothing Girl back. Guy. Yeah, the blue, yeah, factual. The, I, I, heard, I, ain't, I ain't hear nothing back. I waited like four or five months. So you... Did he read the message? Did you see? I didn't see if he read it. Okay. But come on, you know what cool. I'm saying? He's he's functional. Yeah. He's functional. Right. You doing the Breakfast Club? <laughs> you checking your numbers on there, and you're not putting out music, and you're not the the mainstream music mogul you used to be mm. in a sense. It's at least from from an artist standpoint. Got gotcha. you. You mainstream mogul in terms of media, but not necessarily from the artist standpoint. So I know that you're very aware of your numbers. Because that's your, that's your, you know, that's how you get your statistics, man. You checking them numbers. You check, somebody's checking them. Yeah. Anyway, long story longer, I didn't get no response back. So I waited a little while after that. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like, yo, listen, you know, um, basically, he's, 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 it's like identity death, like, mm. but more or less like legacy death. Yeah. Like if you look, if you everybody look, know you for that, like, for that. Yeah, seriously. Somebody told me they said, "Listen, as an artist, you gonna have certain records that identify you, that define you, that too. define you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's one of the projects that define me." That's a fact. And you took the whole title of it, basically. So you took the whole body of it, and there's no way in the world you ain't hear me or know me. One of your artists that you was rocking with, Snoop, he's on. You know, he's on one of his shows talking about me. Mm. And, and and basically going back in my history to the Juice Crew, mm. so you know, come on, you mm -hmm. you know about the God, mm -hmm. but um, you know, my initial approach was a cease and desist letter, and then you know it went further. But to answer your initial question, mm. 
as far as Ice Cube, I didn't sue Ice Cube because Ice Cube only took the the single title Arrest the President. Had Ice Cube took Intelligent Hoodlum, the whole body of work, mm -hmm. I would have sued him. But, you know, Ice Cube just took the title of the single. So, you know, respectfully, I did the same thing that I did, you know, with Master P. I approached him on the gram. I didn't hear nothing back. So I had the lawyer send out a cease and desist. Because, like, you know, I respect both of these men. Mm -hmm. I respect both of these gentlemen. I respect what they've done for the game, yo. Like, they've right. done for everybody, man. All the contributions and the success they've had. So it's like, I don't, you know, I expect them to use the same, you know, to it's have the, the, same, have the same respect for mm -hmm. a fellow artists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From, for a fellow artists coming from the street. I'm from the street, man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I made my way on my own. Nobody gave me nothing in this. And you know, it's funny because I was looking at the NWA movie recently because I ain't never seen it before. Mm. It's so good. And I was, and I looked at his particular role in the movie and I was like, damn, this nigga's like me. Like, why would he do that to me? Like, but you mm. know, people change, things change. But like I said, I didn't sue him. Mm -hmm. I just, I had to, you know, I didn't want him to use, you know, what I've come to make my, what's came to be known as my legacy and just take that from me. I wouldn't do that to him. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So with the cease and desist, did they honor that? Well, I mean, it's kind of complicated right mm -hmm. now with technology. When shit is out there, it's out there. Yeah, especially you know, with this internet. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's out there, but um, as far as from what my attorney has said to me, like it's being respected, it's being you know, it's 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 adhered to. But mm -hmm. I mean, like like with with the internet, once shit is out there, it's out there, mm -hmm. man. It's it's you know what I mean, but. That was just basically, you know, a warning, like, you know, fall back on my yeah. shit, like, you know what I'm saying? It has no respect. Yeah, you got your yeah. feet, come on, man. Because at the end of the day, when you Google intelligent who them, Master P, come up but Master P is going to come up first. Right. Which so is taken away you, from you, your family. You slighted my, you redirected my traffic, doobie, like. Come on, that's, I'm not gonna come out with like you know it's legacy thing, Mr. Ice Cream Man. I'm yeah. not gonna come out with you know what I'm saying, no limit. Like that's you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. It's me, that's you. But respectfully, and you know. I, and at I the like same Master time, P, I love I love the brother. I love what he did for the yo. Love the, the brother. And, 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 and I love how he approaches things like outside of what he did in terms of my my lane. But mm -hmm. I love how he approaches things. Business wise, and when he, you know, the, the the challenges he puts out there for athletes and artists, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and the financial awareness he puts out mm -hmm. there, and the financial intelligence he puts out there, I respect all of that. Yes, that's sir. wealth. That's great. Yes. But let's keep it, you know, let's keep it gracious all around the board. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You're a stand up dude. If you straight up and down six o'clock, you can't be, you know, you can't have an hour. You know what I'm saying? The hour hand off a little bit. It gotta be straight up and down six o'clock. So, fair. you know what I'm saying? Respectfully. I'm on MREC TV right now. We got the bro, we got Shoe Banger, yeah. we got Big Steve behind there yeah. on, the, on the eye and everything. Everything's gracious, man. Good energy, man. And Good let energy. them know what we doing here. But, yeah, we here right now because we actually, this is going to be the first official guest mm. for the True Era podcast show. You know what I'm saying? And um, True Era, basically, like we, we like to focus on individuals, whether that be in music, um, sports, acting, whatever, fashion who shape and basically influence a particular era. And I wanted my first guest to be the bro, you know what I'm saying, and Rhett because of the history we have and what I've yeah. seen him do basically Thank on his own man. from the Thank ground you. up with media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, it's interesting to me, and I know it'll be interesting out to the viewers. And of course, we got Shoe Banger, the co-host, and yeah, it's yes. gonna be the first official show. That's what it is, bro. I appreciate y'all having me. The first official guest. Salute. Welcome. Oh, That's what it is. No privilege. So, double deuces and bubble gooses. We gone. MREC TV. MREC TV, peace. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo. M-R-E-C-K TV promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. MREC TV. It's got a music.